Augmented Reality, or AR for short, is a system whereby you add a 3D object to a camera image to give the illusion that the 3D object is added to the real world. The best AR software development kits available for mobile devices are Vuvoria and String. In this demo, String is used, but it also works for Vuvoria. Using the Unity game engine is the quickest way to get things up and running and it is used in this demo as well. This AR demo uses markers for tracking and consequently the play field size is quite small. This is because the marker must be in view at all times. If the marker is lost, the 3D object will not be visible anymore. Here you can see a car and if I drive it off the screen, I need to move the camera to bring the car back into view. But if I drive the car too far away, I can't get it into view anymore by moving the camera because then I will lose the marker from view. I can try to drive the car back into view but I don't know where to drive since I can't see it. This problem can be solved by adding more markers to the scene. However, you cannot just add additional markers and expect it to work. It requires some additional math and this is what Unified Coordinate System or UCS is all about. UCS is not a game on its own. Instead, it can be used to improve the user experience of AR games. UCS is free, although it does require some additional paid software from StarScenesoftware.com. Now that I added more markers to the scene, UCS needs to know where each marker is in relation to each other. To do this, press Start New Recording. It doesn't record a video, but it records the relative position and orientation of each marker. Slowly pan the camera around so that all markers are in view at least once. Once recording is done, you need to select a reference marker first. This marker is used as the game origin and is used for the direction of gravity as well. Once the reference marker is selected, press stop recording and then save the scene. The name of the scene determines which 3D scene will be shown. The save file is a text format, so it is interchangeable between iOS and Android. This time our playing field is much bigger and we can drive the car around at the entire floor as long as at least one marker is in view. However, the car still doesn't interact with its physical surroundings because the software has no way of telling where the real objects are. Here I drive a car around on the table but it doesn't fall off the edge. The way to solve this is by adding geometry and this is also a feature of UCS. Geometry is created by pressing the Add Geometry button. Place markers on or around the table and use the magenta lines and dots to align it. Select one of the markers and add a primitive which fits its physical geometry best. Since this is a square table I will use a plane. Select a marker and press Add Plane. Now move and stretch the geometry so it fits the table. This can be done manually by selecting an axis and dragging the geometry around and using two fingers to scale it. You can also use markers to place the geometry. This is done using the Add Constraint button. There are several types of constraints but the easiest one to use is the three point constraint. Place three markers so that each magenta dot is located at the corner. Select the geometry and select the three markers. Make sure all three markers are in view and press the three points button. The plane stretches to fit the table. You can also load more complex 3D geometry in OBG format, which is made using a 3D modeling program. Now the car will fall off the edge of the table and the table will also block the view of the car when it moves behind it. In addition, an example of a special effect is included, which deforms the video texture.